I mentioned at the beginning that um, uh, there are two main uh, classification systems that we use in, uh, in psychiatry and psychology to uh, classify, to diagnose these disorders. So I have been talking so far about the DSM. Now uh, let's move to the other one. Once again, I don't want to go into the detail because uh, this is for uh, really practitioners, but uh, it's important that we uh, understand how this second classification uh, deals with ADHD because it has some consequences, some implications. So actually, if you look at the ICD-10, there is no ADHD actually in there. You find something similar, which is called hyperkinetic syndrome. So roughly speaking, this is the equivalent, is similar to ADHD combined presentation, because you need to uh, have, in order to meet the criteria for hyperkinetic syndrome, at the same time, the same child, problems of inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. So what is the problem with this uh, classification? The problem is that if we use this one, we only detect some children with ADHD. We can't identify those who present just with inattention. Uh, so this is the problem, but the good news is that um, next year we will have the next edition of this uh, ICD, the ICD-11, and uh, the criteria for ADHD will be very similar to those in the DSM-5. So uh, finally, uh, this confusion will be over because it, it creates some problems uh, in, in services and in providing care for, for these children.